What silver and gold bullion coin would dominate if there wasn't any U.S. coins? All right, let's get into it. Welcome to Cash and Coins, and thank you for joining me. This is part one of a two-part series. This one is for silver bullion, and part two will cover gold bullion. I did some research, and no matter where I looked, the U.S. Mint has the most popular bullion coins in the world. And that's according to sales numbers and popularity at uh, dealer websites. I looked at U.S. bullion de dealers. I looked at German bullion dealers. I looked at Swiss bullion dealers. I even looked at Canadian bullion dealers. They all said that the American Silver Eagle and the American Gold Eagle were the number one selling coin in the world, hands down. So I thought, what if the mint didn't sell bullion anymore? As you know, they, d they did just start in 1986. Now, this means that on this list, I cannot include any U.S. coins. No Morgans, no Peace Dollars, nothing American. No Junk Silver, no Gold Buffaloes, nothing from the United States of America. First, we will cover the silver coins, as I said. Did you know that other mitts don't? actually tell how many coins they're producing like the Canadian mint hasn't reported since 2014 and same uh, with the British coins they're not really releasing the they'll say unlimited mintage or mintage unknown and so on well I went to many dealers as I said earlier and I searched for the most popular coins on their website I looked at mintages I looked how long have these coins been around? Now I did find that there were similarities between silver and gold coins when it comes to popularity. So with that said, let's get the countdown started. And we'll start off with number seven. Number seven is the Chinese Panda. Now the Chinese Panda would have scored higher but they are not a full troy ounce. They are only 30 grams. The Chinese Panda was first minted in 1987. And like I said, many things did put this at the bottom of the list. Uh, but the number one thing was it being only 30 grams as opposed to 31.1 grams. And I heard many buyers complaining about this. Even coin stores. Now I have to say this coin has one of the highest sales. I've read that it sells from 8 to 10 million coins per year. And it does change the design of the coin. And these coins are really beautiful. Some consider them as semi-numismatic and some even numismatic coins. So it does have the pluses and the only reason why it's at the bottom of my list or well, the main reason why is because it's not a full troy ounce. So you could feel cheated. Well, let's get next on the list. And that will be number six. And that coin is the Libertad, the Mexican Libertad. And I almost didn't include the Libertad or the Panda for some reasons. The Panda, I just told you. The Silver Libertad series was first started in 1982. Now, one of the main issues with the Libertad is that they just don't make enough coins to be a world leader. They have very limited mintages, but they are known worldwide. They are beautiful. Yet some complain that the design can be easily counterfeited. So that's what brought it down in my list. I looked at this as one of the measures, and this is how I placed some of these coins because of their features. Now this coin features the winged Victoria, truly a gorgeous design. And on the obverse side, the coin features the Mexican coat of arms. All right, let's get on to number five, the silver Krugerrand. Yes, this is a recent mintage. It just started being minted in 2017. Now this is a new coin compared to all of the other coins on the list. 
unlike its gold cousin who's been around for years. But due to the popularity of the gold coin, the silver coin has made the list. The problem with this coin, like the Libertad, is there are no real security features easily counterfeited. The obverse face of the South African silver Krugerrand coin is a depiction of Paul Kruger. I believe that was their first president. And the reverse field of this, of this South African silver Krugerrand has the image of a springbuck antelope. I really like this coin. I like both sides of the coin. I like Paul Kruger's side and I like the the antelope side. Really love it. Nice coin. I have purchased some of these. I've purchased coins from all of these mints, by the way. On to number four. The British Silver Britannia, minted since 1997. This is a well-known coin with the new 2021 having probably the most anti-counterfeit protection of any modern bullion coin. But there is another one with many features too, and I'll get to that in a minute. These are not minted in large quantities from what I saw, not as other coins are. So that's what pushed this coin down the list. In my search, it usually came in at third or fourth place. So I put it in fourth place. Now it is a nice coin. On the obverse face of the British Silver Britannia coin is the fifth generation effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, or Her Majesty as they refer to her. Many people don't like the coin because of that. That's one reason pushing it down. Now the reverse side of the one ounce British Silver Britannia coin features the 1987 depiction of Britannia's figure standing along the coast. Look at that. That is just a beautiful, beautiful coin. Visually, to me, it is my favorite out of all of them. Visually, I just love this coin. Now, all of these coins, they do have problems like milk spotting and stuff, and that's included in this one too. So let's go on to the top three. And let me know in the comments, what do you think of the list? And what are your top three silver bullion coins to stack or collect? All right, here we are, number three, the Austrian Philharmonic. Now, according to several websites, it has now taken its place as the highest minted and most well-known silver bullion coin in Europe, having mintages from almost 18 million to 2.9 or almost 3 million. This coin sells. It's the only bullion coin with a euro amount on it. Now, the biggest complaints are the milk spots on this one. Many, many people complain about the milk spots. As you know, this does make a difference when you're trying to resell it. Now, milk spots can be corrected. There are plenty of YouTubes. I think I've even done a YouTube video on how to fix it with a little simple eraser. But I don't recommend doing that on any numismatic coins. Now, other than the milk spotting, this is a beautiful coin. The obverse side of the one ounce Australian silver philharmonic coin is a depiction of the great Oregon. And on the reverse face of the Austrian silver philharmonic coin is a collection of various musical instruments used by members of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra. You'll find a cello, two violins, a harp, a bassoon, and a French horn. It doesn't really have anti-counterfeiting that other coins have, so for this reason it's number three. It is a very popular coin worldwide and easily recognizable. So it is definitely a contender and it was a battle to choose between the um, the uh, British coin and this Austrian coin. So this takes us to number two. Yes, we've made it to number two on the list. Now, like I said, if the U.S. Mint ceased and there were no more American Silver Eagles, these, this would be the top coins 
for investments or stacking. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, of course, so make sure that you do your own research. So the number two coin is the Perth's Mint Kangaroo. This has sales at about 13 million coins from what I could find. It is an attractive coin. Now, people also complain about the queen's face on the coin, but we can't help that. We don't have to look at that side. Some people like it, though. Now, kangaroo is 0.9999 fine. That's four nines fine. It is struck by the this has been struck by the Perth Mint since 2016. It usually has a lower premium than other world bullion silver coins. It's micro engraved with the letter A inside the second A in Australia on the 2021 coin. This micro laser engraving is moved year to year. The coin has recognition, low premium, counterfeit measures, and it's a four nines fine silver bullion coin. An excellent choice to stack. It almost made number one. And talking about number one, the gold medal, drum roll please, goes to the Canadian silver maple leaf. The Canadian silver maple leaves were introduced by the Royal Canadian Mint in 1998. The silver maple leaf is the second major silver bullion coin released behind the 1986 American Silver Eagle was the first bullion coin with a 0.9999 pure silver. It is loaded with security features and I will put links in the description if you want to look all of them up. But it has radio lines engraved that reflect light in unique ways to deter counterfeiting. The reverse field has micro laser engraved a maple leaf privy mark and inside of the privy mark uh, for the 2021 date is 21. It's only visible under magnif magnification. Now, the Canadian Mint has not released min mintages since 2014, but the mintages of 2014 were at 30 million. It's hands down the second most popular silver coin in the world. It would easily dominate if the American Silver Eagle were to disappear. Now, as I said, this is part one of a two-part series. The next part is the gold coins. And keep an eye out for that. I should be releasing that video. Now, I hope you did enjoy today's video. And if you've watched it this far through, hey... Congrats. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. And if you're not already subscribed, that is. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. And to all of you, thank you so much for watching. And as I always, always say, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And keep on stacking. And I'll see you on the next video.